Yo, what's going on boys, Albrisk here and listen, before I start off with this video, know that I appreciate every single one of you lot in the comment section, it's the true motivator for this channel. You lot are going to be the main motivators for me staying consistent, so please keep it up in the comment section. Anyways, in this video, we're going to be talking about how you can go professional step by step. We're going to talk about the six aspects of what makes a professional player. We're going to be talking about your setup, your mechanics, your fighting IQ, your game sense, personal branding and your mindset. These are the six pillars of professional players. If you bump all of these up to a 7 out of 10, specialise in one or two of these, apart from setup I mean, you're going to be an outstanding player. We're going to get this out of the way first. You need a good setup. You have to have a good setup. There is no professional player that has less than 144 hertz. 144 FPS, zero ping, and more than 80 ping. There are players that are on 80 ping, have incredible setups, and there are players that have zero ping that are on 60 hertz. However, if you have both of these, you need to make sure that you're spending around one to 2K on your computer. So you have 144 FPS minimum in end game. You need to be buying all of the Wi-Fi extenders, all of the ethernet cables, making sure your internet is as close to zero ping as possible because zero ping is actually just OP. You may need to work for five months to be able to get all this, it does not matter. Just make sure you have all of these things. Invest in a large desk, a large mouse pad, lightweight mouse, pulse fire haste is actually really good by HyperX. I highly recommend this, about 48 grams, super lightweight and super durable. I actually saw a difference in my edit speed when I switched from 80 gram mouse to 48 gram mouse. Next we're going to talk about your mindset because it's arguably the most important thing. You need to be extraordinarily disciplined. You can't run off motivation because this game is going to get extremely boring. Three hours in of you just getting stomped over and over again in the arena and you're going to get demotivated. You have to completely forget motivation almost exists. Like, don't even think about motivation. It's a detriment. Discipline is the only reality, and that's the harsh reality. But hopefully, you'll thank yourself later. Discipline is the only thing that's going to push you forward. Remember, there's always a player that's more disciplined than you, that's going to work harder than you to take your position. That reality alone should motivate you more than anything else. So now you've got your setup and mindset on par with the pros. It's time for the grind. Grind, grind, grind. Graft, graft, graft. Hop on when you're not trying to hop on. Watch that VOD when you're not trying to watch that VOD. Load in when you're not trying to load in. Watch back your death when you're not trying to watch back your death. This is where the secret lays. This is where you separate yourself from everybody else that plays the game. And this goes for improving mechanics and aim. If you're trying to improve your aim, if you're trying to improve your mechanics, you can't expect to be better than everybody else. You only practice when you feel like it. Because guess what? Everybody else is only practicing when they feel like it. The only way to surpass everybody else in terms of mechanics is to mechanics train when you don't feel like mechanics training, aim train when you don't feel like aim training, and then watch how you become that player that never misses an edit and never misses a shot. But how can you expect to never miss an edit and never miss a shot when you miss out on practice because you don't feel like it? Let me say that again. How are you going to hit every every single shot and you don't hit every single aim training practice session. The only things you need to master in terms of mechanics is mainly your aim, your tarping, your reboxing, your peaking and especially the shoot reset type of peak where you right hand peak, shoot, reset the wall. You need to have every single variation of this mastered. You need to study exactly how pros peak. Peaking is the most important thing in the game. Watch what peaks they use in different scenarios, why they use that peak instead of a different peak. Where were they moving? How were they standing to allow that peak to be successful? There's a reason they never get hit when peaking. Study Vino, study Canada, study Vadil, Mr. Savage. Make sure that all of this gets ingrained into your mentality. Make sure it becomes second nature. Slowly but surely, you'll literally become one of these professional players. Look at your fighting, you're gonna look at your mechanics, you're gonna look at everything and be like, your play style is gonna become the sum of all of your hours in training, all of your hours in VOD analyzing. You're literally gonna be like an added up version of all of these different pros that you're watching i don't like to compare pro gamers to like athletes or anything but mike tyson literally did this exact same technique when he was trying to become a professional fighter he would study everything these professional fighters were doing he'd merge up everything together slowly but surely he start to look like all of these pros that he was watching and luckily for you i've done the analyzing part for you i have a bunch of youtube shorts a bunch of tiktoks that literally show you step by step why these pros do what they do so if you need help analyzing these pro gameplays make sure to watch those videos and study them come on boys leave a like for the w content creator make sure that you're trying to improve your aim day after day because remember in those laggy lobbies it's going to be way more beneficial for you to have great aim than you to have good mechanics now for your fighting iq we kind of talked about that already previously about finding the angles finding the pro peaks but you can only improve your fighting sense in one place and one place only solo ranked not just playing solo ranked 
but making sure you're seeing exactly why you died every single time in solo ranked. If there's only one thing you take from this video, is to play solo ranked and see why you died in solo ranked. That's where you're going to turn weaknesses into strengths and slowly but surely improve your fighting sense up to a level 7 at least. Now think about it, if you have a level 7 out of 10 fighting sense wise and you have a 7 out of 10 aim or mechanics wise, that makes you already around professional level when it comes to fighting in general. There's only a couple more things that you need to master before you will literally have the right to call yourself a professional player whether you're earning money in game or through content. The last in game thing that you need to master is your game sense and the only place you can truly do this, you can truly learn from the pros, you know what I'm going to say here lads. You need the solo masterclass. Now I'm not going to lie to you, I have an affiliate link to this solo masterclass in the description. However, I didn't even know he had an affiliate program until I bought the course. And even if there was no affiliate link, I would purely tell you lot that you need the solo masterclass if you want to become a professional player. The key information in that course, I just can't replicate it in this video. I can't tell you what Destiny Jesus has taught me. So even if you're not going to use my affiliate link to buy the course, I'm telling you right now, you need to get that course. Got the success secrets from all of the top pros, including Tayson, Vadil, and Noah Riley. Got strategies all the way from World Cup days to the recent Fortnite Cups. It's got videos of people in there who have literally bought the course and got earnings because of it. Why shouldn't you be one of those players? The only two ways of you actually becoming really good game sense wise is by grinding scrims, grinding trio scrims, grinding duo scrims, grinding solo scrims and or buying the solo masterclass and learning from everybody inside there. I simply don't have the capabilities to teach you what that course has to teach you, game sense wise that is. So do your future self a favour and st literally pause the video right now, go into the description and buy that course. Now boys, remember when I said beforehand that you're going to need to start creating content if you want your personal brand to go out there. First of all, it's true that if you have a social media presence, first of all, teams will actually know who you are and they'll want to sign you. And second of all, you get paid more purely because you have a personal brand. Sponsors in the team will get paid more now because you have a personal brand, which in turn means that you are going to get paid more. Every time you hop in the game, start up a stream, bro. Start recording your gameplay and posting it on YouTube. Just do something, post TikToks, just anything, bro. It's all fine and dandy you get in like fifth place in a solo cash cup or whatever but nobody's actually gonna nobody's actually gonna see that unless you start posting it. Okay, maybe you got fifth place but maybe you got some incredible kills maybe you killed some like really good professionals all of that's gonna be lost into the abyss bro unless you got first place once again bro do yourself a favor and just start posting content best thing about it is that as you get better at the game your audience grows that's now a double incentive to grind more than ever that's an almost unlimited source of motivation so lads, I hope you enjoyed that video and for, for my channel to actually start growing again, I'm going to need every single one of you that reached this point in the video to actually like the video, comment something, just hype me up lads, hype me up boys. But remember boys, you have to have your mindset on locks, it's going to be the main thing that really pushes you forward. The discipline aspect of mindset, you need to master this, never giving up and trying your absolute hardest because this is how the universe works right. The universe has a bag of blessings and it blesses those that try their absolute hardest consistently. That's just how it works. It doesn't matter about genetics, doesn't matter about reaction time is 0.32 seconds slower than this professional player here. My IQ is about 2%. No, no bro, it doesn't matter about any of that. Outwork all of that. You can outgrind all of that. Don't let yourself start thinking like that because that's such a limiting belief and it's all a facade. It's all BS. But yeah, let's hope you enjoyed that video in peace. If you genuinely want to go pro and improve like none other, Destiny Jesus' solo masterclass is going to be your best friend here. Mortal players like you turn into professional players using this one course alone. Copy the link in the description or click the linked video.